Jersey <clears throat> is very big on music. The Garden State is huge with great musical icons such as Frank Sinatra, Bon Jovi, also Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons. You also have the Gaslight Anthem, of course, the boss, Bruce Springsteen. But you also mentioned about listening to New York hip-hop, but New Jersey has always had a busy hip-hop scene with Queen Latifah, Redman, Naughty mm-hmm. by Nature, also a Raw Digger, and so on and so forth. Uh, tell me, were you did you listen to a, a lot of Jersey uh, rap music coming up? I did. I mean, um, as much as the Fugees claim New York, they did have a base in, in Jersey. So I guess I think I was in, in elementary school. Um, so that was, I think we had a talent show. And, and back in the day, me and my best friend chose um, the Fugees for our song. Of course, like, <laughs> we, we can't do Lauryn Hill any justice, but <laughs> um, grew up on that type of music. A lot of my friends growing up came from Hispanic and Spanish backgrounds, whether it was Colombian, Puerto Rican, Dominican. So I um, was influenced by um, Selena and bachata music as well, things that had Afro beats. Um, and I think in Jersey, there's such a huge Jamaican Caribbean culture in the oranges as well, where a lot of hip hop artists um, started or, or grew near um, that that was influenced into Jersey hip hop. You know, you have Joe Budden, you have all of these artists that came through in the late nineties, two thousands um, that were pulling from the culture of the state. And I love that about um, Jersey hip hop and New York hip hop. <clears throat> 